Hello! Today on the channel we're going to be unboxing In Space Pink Ranger. This is a Power Ranger Hasbro Lightning Collection figure. I do not collect um, Power Rangers, but this one was on a super sale. I believe it was right around five bucks during uh, Amazon Prime Day. So I picked it up so I could uh, give it to my daughter. I figured before I did that I would open it up here on the channel though. Just so we can see what's going on with it as i've never done a power ranger and why not you know i'm not really into power rangers it was kind of that you know teenage mutant ninja turtles was at the point where i was kind of getting a little older you know i i, I well it came out i was probably maybe 10 when it came out but as the years went on and stuff power rangers came out i was probably 14 or 15. so i just didn't get into it it just was that one thing that I didn't get into because of the age, you know, that I was. And then, uh, you know, Pokemon and stuff came out when I was in college, but I did get into that. But this was the one thing that strayed from me. I didn't get into Power Rangers, but we're going to open this up on the channel. I just keep talking. I don't hear it. Let's look at this figure here. <laughs> but anyway, this will go to my daughter. There's the front of the box. Let's flip it on around to the back. Get a little history of my what I collect, why I collect, and why I don't do Power Rangers, but we get one today. All right, there's the back of the box with a black couple of, well, I don't know what that is, like a sonic blaster and a, a blaster, so. All right, there's the side. Pink Rangery. And more Pink Rangery. If it stops wiggling. There we go, this is Power Rangers in space. All right, big old pink on the top. And your barcode legalese. Set it here and get kind of a closer look at everything. So she has an alternate head. See, I don't never watch the show or anything, so I don't know if that's accurate to what she looked like. I don't have a name for you. All I know is this is a pink ranger. Looks like she comes with some extra hands, which is very cool. There's the two blasters and the blast effect. And there's that artwork on the side. There's the bottom. All right, in the back of the box is that huge just digital render render picture and more legalese all right let's set it i don't know i've never opened one of these let's just that looks like one piece of tape right there let's get that cut and we'll open it up looks like a down cut very good here we go all i know is the theme song well one of the things i don't know if there were multiple theme songs i don't know it's just go go power rangers that's all i know that's it that's all all right well, and something about a Megazord, but I don't really know what a Megazord is. Okay. I'm trying to get this. There we go. Okay. There's a blaster. Very sci-fi-y. Couldn't get that head out of there. But there is the alternate head. And some hands. Looks like you get the karate chop. It's a Power Ranger. They do karate, right? I think they do. And of course, they punch things, so we gotta have a punchy fist. Looks like a couple of holding hands installed, so you can hold both weapons. Very good. Oh, and there's a holster, too. So this can go in the holster. That's cool. Nice. Kind of reminds me, I don't know if anybody watches Dragon Ball Super, but there's this character named Jocko. He's the uh, uh, Space Ranger or something. And uh, yeah, I wonder if that was inspired by Power Rangers at all. Um, okay, yeah. Pretty cool stuff. That's everything that you get in the box right there. Very nice. All right, let's check some articulation out here. There's the head. We'll put the next head on after I do this head. So there's some side to side action. There's some good up. Like, I wish the Spider-Man characters were this good. That's like, that's great. That's a really good up look. Nice. And your down is really good. Wow, good movement on this head. I mean, it is just a weird little flat ball thing, but great movement on this head. Let's check the other head. Oh my gosh. There we go. Okay. This one's not going to move as well because there's so much hair. Oh my gosh. 
and it is super tight. Oh my gosh, there we go. It's on. So your head down is there, because there's so much hair. Head up is there. Just not a whole lot there. There's a little side to side action. You can tilt the head a little bit with that little soft plastic hair is coming up. That's about all you're gonna get is right and left out of the person head. All right, oh. They've got, females have the butterflies. See, why can't Marvel Legends, oh man, they are so behind on Marvel Legends. This is so good. Doesn't have a bicep cut, but anyway, that's, I was not expecting butterflies on a Power Ranger. That's really good. Nice. Um, you got a, the rest of the shoulder, you got a pig going on on a rocker, pretty standard stuff, but still, I just love that. That butterfly is amazing. Nice. Um, let's see, so you got just a single, this looks like a uh, Star Wars The Black Series type uh, joint here. So, no pins, but it is just a peg going in on a rocker for the elbow. But you're only going to get 90 degrees. That's okay. It looks good. And then it looks like you got up, forward and back on the hands. It, all the hands look to be the same. And let's see, okay, so you got a nice uh, hula hoop here. But unlike Marvel Legends, it also has a nice little uh, ab crunch forward and back. Wow, that's really nice. See it? I don't know if it has a waist cut. I don't know if I can see. Nah, there's no waist cut. But that's going to all be moving from the uh, hula hoop there. So that'll get your movement right and left there. But yeah, that's that's looking kind of kind of cool there with all these extra articulation pieces that the Marvel Legends is severely lacking so hopefully when that new Black Widow comes out it'll be more like this that would be great um, let's see let's look at the legs so we got a standard ball joint there here's a kick out there's a kick forward even with that dress piece goes out pretty good there's the back and then there is a thigh cut there and you've got double jointed knees. They do have pins in the knees, but that's all right. It doesn't look too bad. Moves well. Uh, no boot cut. That's a, no, there is a boot cut. Okay, it was just super tight. I was gonna say that would be stupid not to have a boot cut. It just set up perfectly for a boot cut. Yeah, great boot cut, nice. And then a standard uh, front facing pin on a rocker. Ow, I pinched my finger. That felt good, what an idiot. All right. Yep, so that works very well. This is a very cool figure. I kind of wish I was into Power Rangers. I just don't know anything about it. That's a cool figure. Very nice. I think my daughter will be very happy with that. Let's go ahead and actually, well, we'll leave it right there. That is everything that it comes with. Let's pull forward, wipe away the accessories, bring her back here, and I don't have any other Power Rangers, obviously. Uh, let's just throw, I don't know, some big figures next to where I've got. Juggernaut here from Marvel Legends. We're gonna have to move the camera, aren't we? Yes. What else we got? Let's just mix stuff in. Here is Chewbacca, Black Series. Let's throw him over here. Who else do we got? Let's do one other figure. What do we got, some G.I. Joe? How about Snake Eyes? This'll just be a, just a weird mashup. Snake Eyes doesn't like to stand real good. There we go. All right. Oh, Pink Ranger. See, I'm guessing Pink Ranger has a name, but I don't know what it is, so I just call her Pink Ranger. All right. There you go. Oh, my gosh. Let's get these feet maybe back. Is that going to do it? Fall backwards. Fall forward. Stay. Just stay. Okay, I think she's gonna stay. Let's get a focus. No, he looks stupid with that sword right in his face. That's better. All right. There is your Pink Ranger in space. Stay tuned for some posing. Thanks so much for watching.